Well, here we go. I'm going to put that new one on. Uh, it just doesn't have that extra hole, which it don't need it anyway. I mean, it fits it. You just take and lay that sucker up there on there like that, right there. There you go. It's all of them. Yep. Whereas this one right here had an extra hole in it. There you go. Okay. Right here. And uh, I gotta do some cleaning on that tank some more. Uh, it's kind of full of rust, it was, and I need to fill it back up and really shake it around, I guess, some more. Because it's just full. We're gonna get the carburetor put together. Where in the hell I put that thing? Where did I put it? Where did it? There it is. Huh. Yeah, it's just almost a $200 carburetor. Damn sure he is. But that's okay. It cranks and runs. It just needed a diaphragm right now and a good cleaning on the tank before I put it all back together this time. And uh, I need a cap, really. Uh, that one just creates too much vacuum in it. It won't... Uh, uh, <laughs> it works opposite of the vacuum on the pump where it holds too much vacuum on there so I need a new cap maybe put a little hole in that right there or something I don't know we'll see but there you have it uh, I'm going back with this thing now and that's gonna get clean before I put it back together and more work out there all over the place uh, the motor is in the shop and I'm getting it bored over uh, 20 over is okay everything else was uh, standard uh there's a lot of slop in the piston so uh, just go ahead and board out and the kit and everything will be here uh thursday or friday so i got new lifters head gasket uh mains rods and uh cam bearings plus all new freeze plugs and the whole kit and we'll put that head on next and there's the old head right there new old yay Ugh. <laughs> uh, it's in constant uh it's been raining hell i just mowed the yard and i gotta mow it again <laughs> damn <laughs> yeah uh i need you can see that front tire over there. i gotta put uh I probably need to go ahead and put new wheel bearings on both fronts and change out the upper and lower ball joints on them. Get that done, and once I get the motor in, uh, change out the uh, tie rod ends and everything like that. So I, I just need to get it on the road first. But it'd be like a brand new one when I get done. <clears throat> Let's go over and look at it. Oh. Where she be? I sprayed some WD-40 on that thing because uh, the shaft, the output shaft or input shaft on it right there was getting some rust on it and that bearing was getting a little rust on it. I don't know, that damn uh, slave looks like it's brand new really. I'm going to change it before I put all this shit back together. I'm going to change it, the clutch, the press plate and all that and uh, well tire rods look okay the pitman arm that looks okay man. it's tall there's a new pitman arm over here idler and the pitman this looks good hell all that shit looks good uh, probably what it needs is just upper and lower ball joints those look brand new right there uh, i did clean them but you know hey that probably needs outers outer tie rod ends put on there and upper and lower ball joints put those on let's give it a look here <clears throat> yeah the inners have been changed the outers haven't so you can see the cracking on it so change the outers and then uh, change the upper and lower ball joints on it put new bearings in the front sucker be nice when it's done uh, 
sure will. She'll love it. She'll be just tickled, stinky pink. Well, there you have it, guys. Peace. Oh, this damn thing here wouldn't crank last night. I had to push her off, and then she had to get a push. And it was the clutch button for the starter. I'm going to have to look and try to find, but there's this pedal keeps coming out, so apparently there's a spring somewhere missing on it, but there's the button right there. And the button was pulled down because when that rod comes out, you can push the pedal all the way up against the thing. So, I need to keep that like that right now. That right, cranks and runs. She's good to go there. And I tried, and I tried, and I tried. You cannot break those nuts. You see, I stripped them. So I'm going to have to get a... Uh, Cut off or a deburring tool and uh, just grind those bolts, slap off the top and the water pump right there. You can see them. <laughs> I tried everything in the world to get them off. I couldn't. Because the pump leaks, pump leaks like crazy and you can't really tell. Look there. <laughs> My custom seat. Enjoy. Well, there you have it, folks. That's what I'm doing. This is nothing but my shot of shit. <laughs> All right, y'all. Peace. I'm going to put this back together and uh, clean that tank real good and put it back on. Fire this big bad mother up. It works. You see where I went to. <laughs> I tilled a row out there. It works great. Forward and reverse. Mm, monster. Peace.